All right, moving on to part four. Um, between the video breaks there, I uh, I just moved uh, current score and, and device ID to, uh, to to actually just being declared variables instead of just local to this function down here. Uh, one thing I want to do here is just make sure that this is actually a capital I. And really the only reason I'm doing that is because I noticed over here in our high scores uh, class, we've got capital I and lowercase d. So just to kind of make sure, you know, that's that we're setting a trend here, right? <laughs> it's capital I, lowercase d. Uh, okay, so um, last video, we obviously just posted to the database. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is make it so that a, uh, a user can um, basically check to see if uh, their current high score is greater than whatever they've saved uh, to the database, right? Pretty simple, but uh, involves a bit of code here. Okay, so uh, to do that, let's start by writing a function called uh, check with, uh, what did I call this? Check with database <laughs> uh, for high score, right? Okay, something nice and long, because why not? All right, so you're opening and closing brackets. Boy, do we have a lot of those in, in this function. Um, let's go ahead and switch this out right now, okay? So we're only going to do this, and we'll put a little note here. Only do this if we need to set high score. All right. Okay, so this will be kind of our switch here to see if we actually need to do that. And to query this old database, uh, let's go and write, actually we can go and just copy this right here. Okay, so paste that on in there, saves us a little bit of time. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is set up a query expression here. And let me come down just a little bit. So we're gonna write, uh, let query expression equals AWS. Dynamo DB. I'll just type it out. Dynamo DB. There's the query expression. All right. So we're um, in our query here is basically to see if uh, the user ID that we have, you know, for whatever it is for that particular device, equals something in the database, right? So we're just going to type query expression dot key condition expression this is going to equal and we're gonna do this in quotes here uh, do a little hashtag user i capital d equals and then do a colon and then just repeat back user id okay uh, and then all right so basically that's the magic right there if this id equals this other one and let me just kind of keep typing here and we'll take a look at the whole thing at once uh, expression attribute names okay now this to me seems like a little bit of an unnecessary step considering the thing that we're gonna write after this uh, but uh, so do that in uh, opening closing brackets and actually if you want to copy this line of code right here you can put that in but just be sure that you um, get rid of that oh no yeah get rid of the equal sign and then put in here um, a quote, do a colon, and then do another quote over here, okay? Um, put a comma after it. Uh, and then come down here again, query expression dot expression attribute values, okay? So this is where we're essentially setting up the values that we're gonna um, test with, okay? And quote, do a colon, user ID, and do a uh, colon on this side, and then put in here device ID, finish it off with a comma, okay? Um, so I, I'm, I'm assuming what basically happens here is one of these, one end of this is the what comes back from the, the database to check, right? Probably that one over there. And then... <laughs> And then we've got our user ID, right, that we've kind of passed along here, okay? Uh, and uh, and then we've got our uh, device ID. So that's the thing that we just want to match, you know? So as long as this matches that, then uh, basically uh, we're going to start taking a look at what came back, okay? Obviously that's just going to be the score. Okay, so now this time around we put object mapper dot uh, query and let's see if we can type query correct correctly. Uh, this, you know what? Let me um, 
let me go ahead and just copy this in. I'll still kind of go line by line, but I'll, I'll copy this in so you don't see me just spend it forever on this. All right, so we got objectmapper.query. Okay, now uh, up here, we remember we created this, we put in here this item to create. Uh, we're not really doing that here. What we're doing is we're, we're just uh, passing in basically the, the class with dot self after it. And, uh, you know, cause we're not creating anything, we're just querying it, right? So here's our expression, query expression, that's over there. And then here's our completion handler. And the response, if we do get one, is uh, is gonna be this AWS Dynamo DB paginated, <laughs> paginated, paginated output. Uh, and then of course, we, we could also prepare for a possible error as well. So uh, just like we had above, you can put in here if let, I mean, just copy this thing out, right? So, um, so anyway, if there is an error, we would return out of it. Uh, otherwise, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, dispatch uh, dot main dot async. And uh, what this is really just doing is if you were going to, um, if you're going to do some sort of graphical change based on um, the, uh, based on what happens over here, it's best to do that up on the main thread and, um, so I'm pretty sure that's why I've got that code in there. Um, I mean, you, in theory, yeah, you could just go ahead and just not put this in, but, uh, but I've kind of found that, uh, with games and stuff like that, it's best to throw things back up on the main thread. They don't like, they don't like, uh, X, whatever, Xcode doesn't like you messing around on, on sub threads if you're going to be changing the UI and things like that. Uh, and I think I've actually got this, see, this is why I should just be copying things. I've actually got this in here wrong. It should be dispatch Q. There we go, dot main, dot async. All right, so um, let's kind of trace things out with print statements here. Uh, basically, uh, we're gonna, we're doing our querying here, right? Um, and then if response does not equal nil, okay? So that means we actually got a response back. Uh, and here, let's go ahead and paste that in. So we, we get print, we got a response. That's the first good sign over there. All right, next up, what we, what's could potentially happen here is if the response dot items dot count equals zero, well, what's that mean? Uh, basically then <clears throat> I guess we got a response, but there was no, um, uh, we didn't get any items from this. Okay. I think this is a possible outcome. Okay. Um, it, worst case, it's not a, a possible outcome. Right. Um, so, I guess what I'm saying here is that, uh, yeah, because we, I guess we do sort of have this uh, condition here where this would have to equal this. Um, so anyway, uh, point is, is that uh, uh, maybe this happens, maybe this doesn't, but uh, worst case, all we do then is we just take the current score and we post it to the database, right? All right, which would probably be what we'd want anyway. I mean, this whole thing, we we want some, we want some sort of switch in here that says, okay, well, actually, if nothing came back or if whatever, yeah, send that send that score on. All right, so otherwise, let's assume this probably doesn't happen. Otherwise, uh, what we're going to do over here is uh, go through the response. Okay, so we're going to write for item in, uh, and then this is just going to be response, uh, question mark dot items. Okay, and there we go. Put that in there. Okay, so we're now putting in here a for statement. And the thing that we're looking for is going to be the high score, right? So if item dot value for key is high score, you got to put that underscore in there. Um, then, uh, then we've kind of landed on what we're actually interested in here. Okay. And you're, you are going to keep getting these. I mean, don't worry about this stuff down here. I mean, I think actually at this point we could probably go ahead and start to close off both the, um, the dispatch from the main thread and the, uh, the main query itself. All right, so if these are annoying you like they are me, just come down here at the bottom and put in these two closers, and we'll see if they go away. Uh, we might be missing another bracket somewhere in here. Let's see. Or maybe we've got <laughs> two too many. Let's find we're going to find out. Okay. All right. So <laughs> that seemed to do the case. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put some notes in here, 
but let's just keep this going. All right. So anyway, we got to our high score and uh, we're going to say if let existing score equals item dot value here. You know what? Let's just paste this in. No more potential mistakes. Okay. So uh, if we can basically create a, a new variable called existing score uh, out of uh, this high score as an NS number, that's what's going to come back to us as, uh, then what we'll do is we want to make the comparison between the current score and our existing score. And one's an int, right? I'm assuming you guys are probably just dealing with simple integers for your current score. I think that's a bit easier than dealing with NS numbers. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll convert this existing score let's just call it make let score int equal existing score dot int value okay so that solves that then here's the actual comparison so what we'll do is we'll say if score is less than self dot current score you got to put self in there when referencing the uh, current score uh, in this case well what are we going to do so the score was uh, less than the self dot current score uh, existing score is lower, so we're going to update the database, right? And then you can just call this self post the database. Else, uh, we don't really want to do anything, but we'd probably like to see <laughs> that this occurred. So let's just put a print statement in here that says the existing score is higher, so do not update the database, right? Okay, so we've got this closing bracket. We got this one. We got this one. We've even got this one over here. And I believe this is the one that ends our for statement, right? You can always check this if you just kind of backspace, or actually, yeah, backspace, see how it kind of highlighted that up there. So that's our for statement. Uh, this is gonna end our else statement, right? And again, see, see what's going on over there. Uh, and then the next one, this ends the if response does not equal nil, okay. All right, uh, and then you got your two closing ones over here for the, for the for all that other good stuff. So uh, here's the thing to check. Uh, right now, I've actually got the database set. Mine's at 1,000 because obviously I was just testing this out. Um, so you can see over here equals 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower it down to 900, okay? And uh, I'm going to test this on my phone. Of course, you guys don't really need, uh, all I'm doing is just tapping the phone as soon as it loads up. Um, find that a little bit quicker than simulator. And as you all know, I hate the simulator. So there's that. So sometimes I hate testing on my device as much as the simulator. And when you get something like, hey, device is not connected. But it looks like this is actually running. Uh, so let's take a look at our output window. I've um, it's, it's, it's still installing it. Uh, as soon as I see the hello world pop up or whatever that is, I'll tap it and... Hopefully, we get a very anticlimactic uh, response, which is that the existing score is higher. Yep, sure enough. Uh, boy, that came back fast. Uh, so it says, uh, so yeah, we saw querying. We got a response. Existing score is higher, so do not uh, update the database. Okay, now what we want to do is go over here and put in here 1,100. We'll run this again. And of course, what we could also do is see what happens if I actually delete out this altogether. Then we might be in for a problem, right? Okay, it's, the, it's loading up one more time. Do, 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 do. And hopefully, by the way, you can check your capacity. Well, basically, you can check how much this would potentially cost you. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, this does not go up much with extra. There's kind of like a base cost on these things. And then, you know. All right, so I'm going to tap it. And uh, let's see. It says uh, existing score is lower, so update the database. Then user data updated and saved um, or, or saved initially. Uh, and then what we want to do is refresh. Okay, all right. So sure enough, now it says 1,100. Okay, let's go ahead and just delete this out. So actions delete it out okay now let's see what happens and I don't actually have to rerun this again okay querying all right so we did get a response okay so that's a good sign we, all right so we got querying we got a response it said the count was zero and 
And of course, you know, then we post it to the database. So let's refresh that again. Oh, there we go, items. And sure enough, 1,100. I, let's do that one more time, right? Just to kind of prove that this works. I don't feel like we proved it enough. Uh, let's go over here now and set this to something like one. <laughs> All right, so I'll actually go and build it again. Okay, so we refresh. Obviously, there's nothing in here. User ID. Nobody's nobody's hanging out in the database right now. And all right, it is loading up on my phone. You can see, and just burning through time. Okay, this is kind of a long install for. All right, there you go. I'm tapping on it. Tapped again. User updated. All right, let's let's load it up one more time. Refresh items, and sure enough, the high score, the biggest score we've got in there is one. Okay, so uh, the real thing to consider now would be, what if you wanted to have uh, high score, compare high scores among all other users? And I think the issue with that is that we've all, at this point, we've only got one, um, essentially we've only got one partition key, right? for our database, which is that user ID. And I think what we would have to do is we'd have to tinker around with uh, the database a little bit and, and make the um, high score be a sort key as well. And that way we could throw in there some fancier um, conditions to check, right? Where uh, and how that looks is something like, um, well, we wouldn't be putting in a specific user. We would be checking um, things like, and let me, I'll see if I can just kind of, uh, let's say it would be something like high score. Um, yeah, this is a good question. I actually don't, <laughs> I only thought about this so much, okay? Is, uh, but you can do things like, um, you know, I think you can put that in there. I think you can do between, um, something or other and something else. Uh, so anyway, this this would be a, obviously a new video altogether where we where we maybe make some modifications to our table. But there you go. You at least have an idea of how you can set up a, a, a single high score for a particular person, and uh, and also too keep in mind that um, you know once you check something like this you can iterate through all sorts of other um, potential attributes in there. So we didn't have to just have high score, okay? Uh, you know, we could then put an else statement here that says else if, um, you know, country, right? Something like that. Yeah. Country, can you spell country? Um, now, if you were to go and, um, and add an attribute after the fact, um, so basically if, I, we, if we went in there and we added one more attribute right now, it's not gonna like bring down the whole database, okay? It would just show like there's one new um, attribute over here uh, and maybe this guy just, it didn't have it for him. Okay, that's okay. Right, it can be blank, right? And the next person that comes in, it can have it. It's okay. Um, the, the thing that, so if you're gonna do that, uh, really all you have to do to update the, um, this class is just put in here the um, whatever new thing you're adding in, right? So it would just look like country and country. And you shouldn't have to go and rerun your pod file or anything like that, okay? So just keep that in mind. Oh, and I'm sorry, too. You'd have to put specify up here what, um, what it's going to be, right? So in this case, you know. You got, you got string or something, okay? Uh, and I think at some point in the future, you probably don't have to put this in here, this add object to see, but at least for right now, you actually do. Okay, all right, so let me just undo that, and I'll leave you guys with that for right now.